Hi everybody, welcome back. For those that do not know me, my name is Mary Beth Bacora and my blog is mybelovedsvoice.com. So we are continuing in our Wisdom is Supreme series and today we're going to be talking about Proverbs 15. Uh, but before we do, let's pray and ask the Lord's blessing upon it. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you that your word is alive and active and it's being released and deposited into those who are listening. So Father, I pray that your spirit will do what it needs to do to bring peace, to bring comfort, and to bring correction. We give you permission. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So here we are, Proverbs 15, and we're about halfway through the book of Proverbs because there's 31 Proverbs. But we're also halfway through the summer, so it's taking us long, as I keep saying, but that's okay because we're going at the pace that we're supposed to be going, and life and other stuff is just coming up, and that's just the way it is. So thank you for your patience. If, if you, I would encourage you to read each proverb a day, and, and I, I'm highlighting on some certain ones, certain verses within the proverbs because it would take us double time as long if we continue the whole whole chapter verse by verse. So I do encourage you to read the chapter, the entire chapter as a, um, for yourself on that day that we're on. So as we open up the very first verse of Proverb, Proverbs 15 says this, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but wrath, wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. There are life lessons that we can all learn just from this very first verse. And here's some life lessons that we can learn, that a gentle answer will calm the other party down if we're being screamed at. Two people yelling at each other will not accomplish anything. And the third thing that I, I'm pointing out is that there is power in exhibiting gentleness. And here's why, because in further on, we're not there yet, but in chapter 25 of Proverbs, it says that a gentle tongue can break a bone. That's Proverbs 25, 15, the second uh, part of that verse. That's powerful, that a gentle tongue will break a bone. So, yes, my friends, being gentle is not weakness. It is strength. Answering back gently to somebody when they're when when you're in a heated argument It'll turn away wrath When somebody is extremely anger angry or in or intensely annoyed at you and I'm exercising this truth Myself and I'm telling you I challenge you to try it because it really does work That it will that it will the softer we speak and the calmer we remain it will truly dispel an angry person. So as we read on, if we go down to Proverbs 15, 6, here's what it says. The house of the righteous contains great treasure, but the income of the wicked brings them trouble. So great trouble, great treasure comes from being in right standing with the Lord. The treasure that is spoken about in this Hebrew context is wealth. So when God blesses his children, he blesses their finances as well. Our emotions of remaining calm in a heated, in, in a heated discussion is mentioned again in Proverbs 15, verse 18. It says this, that a hot-tempered man stirs up dissension, but a patient man calms a quarrel. So once again, there's confirmation about remaining calm in a time of, of a heated argument. Maybe that's why the, one of the fruits of the Spirit is, given, is spoken, speak, speaking of self-control. When we exhibit self-control, you know that the Holy, when you're being screamed at, you know that the Holy Spirit is alive and active in your life. And God knows that in many life situations, we will confront angry people and using and exhibiting the spirit of self-control and gentleness 
it breaches, it cuts off an argument. It doesn't breach it, it cuts it off. So I pray that our tongue is used to bring healing and life into people. <coughs> Excuse me, as we exercise patience and calmness. In fact, Proverbs 15, 24 says this, the path of life leads upward for the wise to keep him from going down to the grave. That's in verse 24. Put that down there. And an upward path is the direction of moving in God's highway. Our journeys through life are to be moving forward and upward in the things of God. And if we're walking in wisdom, it will bring humility, which leads to honor. <clears throat> in fact, in verse 33, it says that the fear of the Lord teaches a man, a man wisdom and humility comes before honor. Remain humble and honor will be given to you. So I'm embracing humility as we grow in wisdom with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Remember to check out the blog, mybelovedsvoice.com, and you have a, a great night and a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.